Hello friends. This is chat application tutorial series, and under this series, we will make real-time chat application in PHP, by using Ratchet WebSocket library, and under this video, we will learn how to send email verification email, to register user after completing their registration. In previous part, we have learned, how to insert register chat application user data, in MySQL database, by using PHP object oriented programming. Now we want to send email verification mail, and then after we want to verify register user email address. So for send email, here we will use PHP mailer library. So first we want to download PHP mailer library. So here we will use composer for download PHP mailer library. So here we have in command prompt, in which first we have go to our working directory, and under this, we have already installed Composer software. Now for download PHP Mailer library, here we have write Composer require, PHP Mailer slash PHP Mailer command, and run this command. This command will download PHP Mailer library under this our working directory, it will take some time for download. So here download is completed, now we have go to our working directory. And here we can see that, when the folder is created, and under this we can see PHP Mailer folder, in which PHP Mailer library downloaded. Now we have go to register.php file, and here we want to include PHP Mailer library under this file, so here we have write this 3 use statement. After this, we have write require statement, with vendor folder, slash auto load PHP file, by using this 4 line of code. We can use PHP Mailer library under this register.php file for sending email. Now we have go to this if block of code, and here we have write dollar mail variable is equal new PHP Mailer class, with true as argument, so here we have create object of this PHP Mailer library. Now we want to config email setting for send email. So here first we have write dollar mail object, with is smtp method, this method will use smtp for send email. Next, we have write dollar mail object with host variable is equal to, host name, it will set the smtp server host. Below this, we have write dollar mail object with smtp auth variable is equal to, true. It will enable SMTP authentication. Now, we want to defile SMTP username, so here we have write dollar mail object, with username variable is equal to, username, here you have to define your email username. Same way, we want to define password details, so here we have write dollar mail object, with password variable is equal to, password, here you have to define new email address password details. Next, we have write dollar mail object, with smtp secure variable is equal to, php mailer class, with encryption start tls, it will enable tls encryption. After this, we want to define port number, so here we have write dollar mail object, with port variable is equal to 80. So here our server setting is ready. Now we want to set recipients setting, so here we have write dollar mail object, with set from method with to argument, in first argument, we have write email address, from email has been sent, and in second argument, we have write sender name. After this, we want to define receiver email address, so here we have write dollar mail object, with add address method, and under this method, 
we have write dollar user object with get user email method. This method will return register user email address. Now we want to set email content setting. So for first we have write dollar mail object with is HTML method with true argument. It will set email format to HTML. Next we want to set email subject. So here we have write dollar mail object with subject variable is equal to registration verification for chat application demo. Same way, we want to set email body. So here we have write dollar mail object with body variable is equal to this text. Under this email body text, we want to make email verification link. So here we have write anchor tag with ref attribute is equal to our chat application URL with verify.php file with question mark with code is equal to dollar user object with get user verification code method. This method will return user verification code. So it will make dynamic email verification link for each register user email. So here our email configuration is ready for send email. Now for send email, here we have write dollar mail object with send method. This method will send email. After sending email, we want to display success message on web page. So here we have write dollar success message variable is equal to text like verification email sent to email address, which will be get from get user email method. So this message will be display on web page. Now we have check output. So friends, first we have go to chat user table, and here we have removed this register user data, otherwise it will display email already exits message on web page. So for this, here we have removed this data. Now we have go to register page, and here we have again fill register form data. After filling data, now we have click on register button. After click on register button, here on web page, we can see that success message like verification email sent to register email address. So now we have go to email inbox and here we can see that registration verification email address but before verify email we want to write code for verify email address. So for this we have open verify.php file and under this file first we have write dollar error variable is equal to blank value. Next. We want to start session variable on this page. So here we have write session start function. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function and under this we have write dollar get code variable. If this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. And under this block we have write require once statement with database folder slash chat user dot php file by using this statement we can use this chat user class method under this file now we want to create object of this chat user class so here we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new chat user class after this we have write dollar user object variable with set user verification code method and under this, we have write dollar get code variable. This method will set user verification code variable value. Now, we want to check user verification code is proper or not. For this here we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write dollar user object. With is valid email verification code method. If verification code is available in database. Then it will execute if block of code. Otherwise, it will execute else block of code, 
and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to error message like something when drawing try again. Now, first we have go to chat user class, and here we have create is valid email verification code method. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from chat user table where user verification code is equal to double colon user verification code. Below this select query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. Now we want to bind double colon user verification parameter with local variable value. So for this, here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write double colon user verification code, and in second argument, we have write dollar this, user verification code variable. Next, we want to execute above query, so here we have write dollar statement variable, with execute method. After query executing, now we want to check their data has been found in query execution result. So for this we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with row count method. If this method return more than zero row, then it will execute if block of code, and it will return true, otherwise it will return else block of code, and it will return false. Now we have go to verify.php file and go to if block of code and under this block first we want to set user status variable value so here we have write dollar user object with set user status method and under this we have write enable next we want to change user status value in database so here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar user object with enable user account method. This method will change user status value in MySQL database. Now again we have go to chat user.php class file and here we have make enable user account method. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat user table set user status is equal to double colon user status where user verification code is equal to double colon user verification code below this update query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable After this, we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument. In first argument, we have write double colon user status, and in second argument, we have write dollar this user status variable. Again, we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument. In first argument, we have write double colon user verification code, and in second argument, we have write dollar this user verification code variable. So this way we can bind both parameter with local variable value. Now we want to execute query, so here we have write if statement, and under query, we have write statement variable with execute method. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and return true, otherwise it will return false. Now we have go to verify.php file and here we have write dollar session success message variable is equal to message like your email successfully verify, now you can log in into this chat application.
So this message will be display after email verification. Next we want to redirect page to login page. So here we have write header function and under this we have write location set to index.php so it will redirect web page to login page. Now we have go to index.php file and here first we have write session start function. This function will start session variable on this page. For display email verification success message, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, and under this, we have write dollar session success message, if this variable value is set then, it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write echo statement, with division class with bootstrap alert and alert success class, and between this, we have write dollar session success message variable, and it will display success message on web page. After display success message, now we want to remove this dollar session success message variable value. So here we have write unset function, and under this, we have write dollar session success message variable. So this function will remove this variable value. So here our code is ready. Now we have check our code on browser. Friends, first we have go to email inbox where we have received email verification code. So here we have seen email verification email. And here we can see email verification link. So we have click on this email verification link. After click on email verification link, web page has been redirect to login page. And here on login page, here we can see that success email verification message on web page. That means here user status has been changed from disable to enable, and now user can log in into system. So friends, in this video part, we have learned how to send email verification using PHP Mailer library, and then after we have verify email address by using PHP object oriented programming under this chat application. In next part, we will make login page for this chat application so user login into this chat application so here we have stopped this video and we will be meet in next video and lastly thank you for watching this video